Good day viewers, you are welcome. How to solve this nice monomic polynomial for f of 5, given that f of 0 is 1, f of 1 is 2, f of 2 is 5, f of 3 is 10, f of 4 is 17. If the degree is of 5, we have the degree of 5 here. So I'm going to solve this method uh, in two ways. So solving it in two ways and uh, we are going to see which of these two methods is better to approach this problem. Let's get into it. So if you look at this, there is a particular pattern that this follows. So let's consider the method one. We consider the solution here. Suppose I consider the standard coefficient method for this. Since the degree we have is five, we are going to have uh, f of x equals x raised to the power of 5 plus so I'm going to be choosing some coefficients like let's say we have ax raised to the power of 4 plus bx raised to the power of 3 plus cx raised to the power of 2 plus dx raised to the power of 1 then plus e so when we try and look at this standard coefficient method of degree of 5. So if this question says degree of 6, we will start with 6 and then we proceed. What we are expected to get here is we want to know what values of A, B, C, D and E is. Then before we can plug in uh, the value of 5 that we have. But before then, we have to keep substituting the value of x. So at x equals to 1, then down to x equals 4. So but in this process, we are going to be getting a, b, and c. So as we are plugging these values, so we are forming new equations. So we form equation 1. Suppose our x here equals to 1. So <coughs> we are going to have a particular equation. So if s is 2, we have a particular equation. And if s is 3, we have a particular equation. So I'm not going to choose s equals to 0 because so we only have the constant e here and when we do that we are going to have something like 2 equals 1 plus so we have 2 equals 1 plus a plus b plus c plus d plus e so this is what we have for the first equations and if we check for the second equation as well we have something of this nature and we later solve this by system of linear equations, we are going to get uh, this general method, which I'm not going to show, as f of x equals x raised to the power 5 minus 10x raised to the power 4 plus 35x raised to the power 3 plus, so we are going to have minus 49x raised to the power of 2. Then we have plus 24x, then plus 1. So this is what we are going to get. And if you plug in at x equals 5. So in this expression, so here is the general formula. We solve that one by Samantino's equation. By Samantino's method, we get it. Um, if you plug in at x equals to 5. So for every x equals to 5. So we are going to get this answer as 146. So this is the answer to f of 5. But this looks very long. is because I didn't show all the steps. So there is a better and the easiest way of solving this. Uh, we get the same result. So let's consider this in the second method. In this second method, I'm going to be using some remainder theorems. So we have this pattern. Let's try and derive a formula for it. Suppose I let, if I let p of x, suppose I let p of x to be equals x squared plus 1. So how does this formula relate to this? It's very simple. If our x is 0, 1, 2, 3, four and others like that so if we test for p of zero we are going to have zero squared plus one 
and this equals 1. And again, if we test for p of 1, we are going to have 1 squared plus 1, and this equals 2. Again, if we test for p of 2, we have 2 squared plus 1, that gives us 5. So this is how this continues, so we get to p of 4. So we test for p of 4, we have 4 squared plus 1, and this gives us 16. So this is how it continues. But because the question says of degree 5, we are not going to test for P of 5. If we test for P of 5, we got wrong answer as just 26. Then we need to have a general formula for this. Since we have known the P of X, we have to know the degree of 5 equation as well. So to know the degree of 5 equations, so we are going to let that one to be, suppose I choose H of X. So h of x will be x into bracket of x minus 1 multiplied by x minus 2 multiplied by x minus 3 and uh, multiplied by x minus 4. So this is what we are going to have. And uh, we have to know the h of 5. So since we have test for, test for, tested for p of 5, and uh, we have to know the h of 5 as well. So here we have h of 5. This equals 5 into bracket of 5 minus 1 multiplied by 5 minus 2 multiplied by 5 minus 3 multiplied by 5 minus 4. And uh, with this, we see that here is 5 multiplied by 5 minus 1, that is 4, multiplied by 5 minus 2 is 3. Multiply by 5 minus 3, that is 2. Multiply by 5 minus 1, that is 1. Uh, looking at this, 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. This gives us uh, 5 factorial. And 5 factorial equals 120. And how can we now pair this together? But before that, I want to know what is P of 5. So P of 5 is given as x squared plus 1. That is 5 squared plus 1. And 5 squared plus 1 equals 26. Therefore, in a general terms, for every f of x, so this will be equals p of x plus h of x. So this is what we are going to apply. So f of x equals p of x plus h of x. And what is p of x? That is 26 plus then our h of x is given as 120 and by adding 120 plus 26 so we are going to get 146 so same answer different approach but i love this second approach how do you see it so you can leave the answer in the comment box see you in the next video never stop learning bye bye